Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I'm going to talk about a photograph. It's a street photograph. I was out walking with a friend, which is something that I don't like to do when I do street because for me, to do street, you have to just walk and be engaged in the scene. But when you're with somebody else, you're engaged in dialogue and it becomes, for me, a distraction. So I'm not very good at doing street in any kind of a social situation with my partner. I can't walk with her and talk because it's not street. Street is by myself. But I was walking with him and we were walking through Boulder on a public square, kind of a place called the Pearl Street Mall. And I typically walk with a camera, it was a Fuji X100T around my neck, and I'll typically just photograph people as I pass them without picking up the camera. It's just right here. And it's got a silent shutter. And I'm engaged in doing other things, so I'm not bringing a lot of attention to it. And in the edit, I found this one photograph that became one of the favorites of that day, even though I wasn't really shooting street very well. That was one of those serendipitous sort of moments where in the edit I found something. And there are opportunities to find great photographs in the edit. If you are looking and you think you have something and you don't know, and then you see something that you didn't know you have. Years ago I was photographing a jet skier, and I may have mentioned this before, I was photographing a jet skier for the newspaper just for a weather photo, and on the frames of negatives as I'm looking through them, one of them, he's doing a headstand and I didn't even see him do it. He must have done it really quickly and for a really short time and I didn't even see him do it. And when I got the film processed, I saw the guy's doing a headstand. So that became the photo we used, of course. And in editing is when you can find photographs that you didn't know. If you look at what you have to work with, it's like out in the street you're shooting and you're, you're collecting, you're gathering material. But in the edit is where you find the material and find out what's worthwhile out of it. And it's not all good. And you can certainly have to put on your critical hat and say, what do I really want to show and is this worthy? Because just because it's somebody in the street doesn't make it a street photograph. To me, a street photograph has to have a story. And there's also a time when you're fresh off the street and you just shot something and you have a connection to it and you say, I really like this photograph, I'm going to use it. And then six months from now, you look at that in your gallery and you think, why is that even there? It's okay to pull those. We're always constantly updating and developing our, our show and it's okay to pull the week if it doesn't stand up to your test of time. And also ask other people, is it resonating with them? So this photo I'll put in the comments below and I'd be interested to see if it resonates with you or is it just one of those things that I see and nobody else sees anything? And then maybe it'll be called from the gallery in the future, but it's one of those street photos that I think has a little bit of a story. There are a few clues involved in the, in the elements in the frame and I'll be curious what you think. All right, that's today's photography talk. Have you ever found a great photo in your edit? Put your comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button and we'll talk again tomorrow. More photography. Thanks so much.